The problem is our culture, which states that marriage and family cannot be considered as a social factor. Meaning that our culture is a culture of laborers, in the best case of merchants, and it forges morale for laborers and merchants who lack the notion of marriage as a social partnership, unable to consider that the concept of love can be secondary in this sense. People of higher castes get together not in order to love each other deeply, fully, with body and soul, but for some other reasons. Reasons that will be clear only on this other caste level as to why they actually unite. But this is not what is shown to us. All of our culture, all books and other sources of information have, on the contrary, been praising this unearthly and magnificent love, such a divine feeling that should not be neglected. And in our culture, the concepts of marriage, love and relationship do not relate to social success. It is not applicable. This approach is considered to be cynical. And when we say that at our present level of development we should look at things from a different angle and understand that if people get together they do so not only with the purpose of sharing the bed but also for other reasons because they will get out of that bed sooner or later or at least they should. Yes, and then come the stereotypes gold digging, loveless marriage all the bad things. Okay, let's think for a moment. They will finally get out of bed. And what will they do with each other next? 18 years of age is a period when the hormones are raging. Of course, there is no brain involved there. It's a shame that the parents have none either, being similarly subject to the same cultural stereotype. But we understand this now. And since we do, we should chase this stereotype out of our minds. When you start practicing the word analysis on your own, I will provide you with instructions for this in our next lecture. Do analyze the words such as love, marriage, family, and everything that has to do with relationships.